Hey guys, I'm the Carbon Atom, and today I have a spawner trap to show you. Now, it's not a sort of legit spawner where, you, where the mobs actually spawn. It's from a spawner, but it's not a cave spider spawner, and it's not a blaze spawner, because I'm not in the nether, and I've already showed, that, showed you that before. But, as you probably have seen, it is a silverfish spawner. Yeah. Uh, I went and uh, I went on a I started a new world and I used like ender eyes and creative mode to find a stronghold and I dug straight down and it put me in this room and the portal was about uh, it was just behind the, the spawner and you know I just hollowed out this whole area it's fairly big I used single player commands and stuff like that to do it and I constructed this spawner and it works really well it's pretty efficient this this um, sort of chamber here that around the spawner is uh, basically spawners only sp can spawn um, what's it in a 8 by 8 uh, by I think two or by three I'm not sure and um, this chamber encloses that area so um, if you can see uh, try and show you it's hard I suppose I can just switch to creative mode get in here and yeah so these three three air blocks this level oh Wait. This level, this level, and this level. In this entire area, they can spawn. Alright? And from there, they... Actually, wait. From there, they fall in the water. Fall in the water. They don't take any damage, because it's only a three-block three block, three block, uh, drop. And from there, they swim along this water into this second channel. Alright? Don't, don't take any damage still because it's only a one block drop, right? And as this guy is doing, try, he's fighting at the moment. Oh, there we go. He's going. God, he's trying to fight it a lot actually. Okay, he just falls into here and just falls in this little huddle here of about. Let me see. I have 45 in there. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's pretty efficient. And when you're in uh, survival mode and um, if you're standing down here uh, when they spawn they immediately track you they just like lock onto you and they swim towards you which helps which helps um, the speed of the time that um, the speed between the time they spawn and the time when they get down here which allows more to spawn when they're down here because yeah they're, they're far away enough from the spawner so more can spawn Right. Um, oh wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Close that up. And you know that's that's all well and good, I guess. But the main thing here, really, oh, is the killer mechanism. All right. Also, I should I should mention really. Uh, uh, the title probably say this um, too, but still, this is an XP farm for silverfish, and. I haven't seen this done before, I don't know, I haven't looked on YouTube for Silverfish XP farms, but it may it may um, well have been done before, but you know, I just thought I'd, I might as well show you this, uh, you know, because you know, it's my design and stuff like that, and also because it might not have been done before, so in, this, in that case, this is the first, right? So down here, where the Silverfish, uh, collect. I was having a bit of trouble containing them because they are they're less than one block tall and less than block, one block wide so they're really hard to contain and I tried with iron bars like like uh, you use for cave spiders and that didn't work because they fall right through it because they're less than one block and apparently less than um, enough less than one block so that they can just slip right through it and they, just, and they come out and just like own you up. So I tried fence gates, uh, not fence gates, fences, fence posts, and that didn't work. 
So eventually, I just tried half slabs, and with the block above it, so they only have this height, half a block, and apparently they're just um, bigger than half a block tall, so they don't, they don't uh, fit through it, and they just stay in place, and they, they follow you a little bit. You can't really see it now because there's loads in there. Actually, wait. There's 50, about 55 in there at the moment. And so, yeah. Down here as well, I have two buttons. As I should, as I had in my Blaze uh, farm XP thing. There's uh, close gate and damage mobs and open gate. Right? Damn it. Uh, so, w once you have enough enough silver fish that you want um, you press this button and let's see if I get up here there's sticky pistons behind this block one sticky piston behind that block and another sticky piston behind this glass block and when you hit the button they both close and that that's the gate and the gate allows no more or makes it so that no more silver fish can join the mix Sort of thing and we want that because say once you finish damaging them all these are uh, like really low health but if you allow more to come in these ones up here the, the, the newly spawned ones will have a uh, full health and so they will join the mix and what happens with silverfish one uh, what, what happens with silverfish is if you punch them and you don't kill them quick enough or if you hit them with something and you don't kill them quick enough, a block, somewhere around you, a block will break and a silverfish will spawn out of that. So you really don't want to hit, you really don't want to, like, damage but not kill a silverfish uh, with your fist or something like that. Because, especially if you just, so just spam your uh, left click button and you hit loads of them that won't die in, uh, instantly, and just, you'll just get loads of blocks, just break everywhere, and that's kind of bad. Uh, so yeah, those two, those two glass blocks close, and they're glass, because if a sort of fish is in the middle of those two blocks when they close, it won't suffocate, because if it was opaque, they'll just crush it, and damage it, enough so that when it gets down here, it would die in, when I'm crushing it, alright? So, once it's being crushed, uh, also, I should mention that the crushing device is these two iron blocks here. They just come out and crush it. And even though it looks like uh, that they're above it, no, not the ones jumping, the ones that are like on the floor, on the, not jumping, uh, it, it looks like they won't hit it, but apparently they do because, as I said before, apparently they are higher than what than half a block tall, as you can see from here. Right? Uh, so they do actually get damaged, even though it really doesn't look like they do. Uh, so yes. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Um, the crushing device. All right. It's it's timed perfectly. Actually, it's behind here somewhere. Uh, there is all. Oh, there is actually a, a there's a repeater glitch, and if you walk it walk through it at such an angle or something like that, you'll fall through. And there's void below me because I, I this is like really near to bedrock and I had to just scrape out a bunch of bedrock using creative mode and yeah, you fill it up. So I better not do that. So yeah, anyway, this is the pulse lengthener that Minecraft Addict made. Uh, I don't want to get too close to it because I might fall through. And it's I'm near void so you can't see that far. But yeah. And this is the contraption that I used in the Damn it! Wait, wait, yes, see, I just turned no clip on using a key that I bound to it, you can see it's single player commands, and just hit that and just fab a cup. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the same contraption that I used in my blaze farm thing, except the blaze farm, since they have more health, they need to be crushed for longer, so this extends further out, but since silverfish are quite small, uh, therefore they have a low health, uh, this needs to be quite a bit shorter. Uh, it's if you know how to build these, then on the edge it's four, 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 and two. Okay. 
uh, and there's one, two, three, four. All right. On all the other ones, there is uh, four. All right. This one doesn't count. It's just the um, just to power the block. All right. Uh, so yeah, and then once this gets once it's powered, there's a redstone torch on the other side of that. There. Once that gets powered, um, after like the however many seconds it, it this uh, long uh, uh, lasts for, uh, it will go through these. Uh, it will um, go through this redstone wiring. Invert this. Go over here and power these two repeaters, power, um, unpowering these two uh, redstone torches and yeah, close it or open it, open these pistons, extract and retract these pistons and that crushes them, right? Uh, what? What? Oh. Yeah, okay, um, now that's done, uh, also th there is actually a delay on this here because uh, this button, really, really, this button also goes over there and round through the other side, which I'll show you just now. Go through here, hits this red, this hits this uh, R small latch, right? And there's this, this is this, these are the, uh, the the gate. This is the gate, right? And this just goes over here and hits the other one, okay? And this the gate has to close first because any any mobs that are just falling need need to have time to hit the ground, otherwise they won't suffocate probably, I assume. So that's why the, the crushes are delayed slightly, so this has a time has a chance to shut the gate completely. Uh, so yeah, uh, to open the gate again once you're once you're done, it's sort of pretty self-explanatory. This just resets the arsenal latch and it opens the gate again allowing more mobs to um, collect in this chamber all right and the uh, the crusher it's timed so that e if it was one tick more it would kill them all all right so it's the perfect amount it's it's the most you could damage them which allows for a certain amount which, which allows for which ensures that you can one punch them okay so currently I have about 85 in here. Okay, just a couple more. I will switch to survival mode. Uh, if you're wondering how I did that, it's single player commands. I just bound a key. I bound the V and B key to game mode survival and game mode creative. So whenever, whenever I hit one of the two, I, I switch between the modes. Okay. Uh, so I'll just wait for these that one to hurry along I can't be honest it's taking too long <laughs> okay so watch quickly it happens a bit fast all right close gate and damage mobs closes the gate these all get damaged all right see how this one can't get through so it just sits there and just doesn't take damage doesn't drown or anything so it's all right and so these ones okay keep an eye on my uh, uh, level bar, right? If you want to see how much these things give, you just just actually. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that each one is one punch kill. So you'll be able to see the 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 one that I hit die. Okay, there's one. There it is again, and there. Okay, you can see that each one I hit just dies. Okay, so now I just spam them. <laughs> so good. And th th this causes sieges in a minute. All right, I if you can't see, it's all right because I can't either. Uh, yeah, they just like own you up with their orbiness and xpness. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh well. X penis. Anyway, um, that was coincidental. Yeah. But so now, see, they're all. They just. Uh, <laughs> they um. They've they've been collecting up here, while we've been spamming, and so on. So to to open it, you just hit open gate, and they all fall down. And notice they don't take any damage, which is good, because it's only a three block, 
three block and drop. Um, so yeah, I got to level 14 from that. Yeah, it's not much, but they, they do spawn pretty quickly, and they, you can spawn in this area, see just then, just then, three spawn at a time. So, you know, it's pretty good. I'm not sure how much XP each one gives, but, you know, it's 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 decent. It's decent for an XP farm, that is. I'll just show you again, with a, with a less amount of silverfish. Right? So, yeah, just spam them. There's not that much orbiness, etc. Because there was only like 10 in there. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you can like AFK in this area here. And I did that like a few times. I let uh, about 250 build up. And you know, you get from level like 0 to 30 or 40. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent XP. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it really. That's my spawner. Uh, it's pretty basic, but you know, as I as I said before, I I haven't seen anyone do a silver silverfish spawner, you know, be, uh, before this. So yeah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong though, because you know, as I said also before, I haven't checked <laughs> if anyone's done it before. Oh, is it raining? It's raining. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> anyway. Oh no, it is still running. What? I swear it just stopped. Oh. Okay. Uh. Rain off. Okay. Um. So yeah. As I was saying, I will. D I could do a tutorial for this if you want to. Uh. Big. Yeah. I, I, that's it. That's it. Really. I can do a tutorial of this if uh, of this if you want to. But you know, it's pretty explanatory if you followed well through this video you probably would um, understand how it works and just from s looking at it right now this bit I just added in case like if you're watching it so it's safer standing here and one spawns which one will do in a second there we go if you're standing here like AFK if you're like watching or something whatever uh, bad, bad example but because you're like you're you're in front of the drop zone they, they'll have a hard time falling in because they're tracking you so they're just swimming against the current so if, but if you stand here you can still watch them spawn and you're behind the drop zone so they'll fall in uh, so yeah um, as I said if you want me to do a, a, a tutorial for this I will uh, but you know only if, only if you want me to because you know uh, there might be other ones that you can do that you might have seen already which I don't know of um, and you know I won't do something that isn't wanted if you know what I mean okay um so yeah uh, last thing I might well just enchant something uh, because I'm, I am a boss um I'll enchant a pick picks are my favorite thing to enchant favorite things to enchant uh so yeah 15 oh 16 there we go Efficiency two, eh, it's not that good. I I I um I enchanted two things earlier and I got fortune one efficiency two. It's all right. Uh, and bane of arthropods for I don't know what that does. I really don't. If someone could explain that to me, that'd be nice. Uh, but yeah. So if you enjoyed this video and you found this silverfish spawner useful and interesting at the very least. Uh, you know, give me a thumbs up, maybe a favourite if you liked it a lot. And, you know, comment. I like comments. Giggity. Anyway. Uh, I, yeah, but leaving your feedback is, is pretty helpful to me, because then I can know how to improve, and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, uh, subscribe to me if you like some of my videos. Obviously don't subscribe to me just because, I, just because I told you to on this video. Check out some of my other videos if you haven't seen any of them before. And, you know, if you like them, please subscribe. Uh, okay, so that's it for now. See, three just spawned there again. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.